Everybody's a suspect! Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, so it was announced yesterday that we had more news on this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre sequel that's coming out. Um, firstly, we only really knew that it was going to be a direct sequel to the first movie from 1974, but we didn't know what timeline it was going to have. Is it going to be a direct sequel set in 1974? Is it going to be set in 1975, etc.? We just didn't know. Um, but John Squires from bloodydisgusting.com, he reported yesterday that it's going to be a direct sequel, of course, but it's going to be Old Man Leatherface. Now, firstly, I don't know what to think of that because one of the worst movies in the franchise is Texas Chainsaw from 2013. That was that had Old Man Leatherface in it as well. Now, we can't really go, right, okay, because the Texas Chainsaw from 2013 was bad, this is automatically going to be bad because it's not. It's not automatically going to be bad because of that, but it could still be bad. Um, now, I did read on the Bloody Disgusting website as well that the crew were talking to Fede Alvarez, who is a producer of the movie, and again, Fede Alvarez is a great director. He directed the Evil Dead remake. Now, he said that they're taking a lot of the approach that they did with the Evil Dead remake as well, which is good. Uh, they're going, everything is classic and everything is old school gags. Now, when they say old school gags, um, I don't again, I don't know what they mean by that because the original Evil Dead had a little bit of a gag in it, even though it was semi-serious. So they could use some gags in the, the remake. But in terms of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that wasn't funny at all. You know, to me, it wasn't funny. It was just gritty and serious and, and quite frightening, to be honest. Uh, but one thing that I do love or, or love the sound of is they're going to do the old school approach to film making. They're going to be using vintage lenses. Uh, and it's going to be a very, it's, they say it's going to be very similar to the original film. Now that is interesting, they're using vintage lenses. Uh, I don't know if that means they're going to be using old lenses from the 70s that are probably over 40 odd years old, or they're going to use new lenses with uh, vintage filters on them. I've no idea what they mean by that. I think it would be very impressive if they use actual vintage lenses for this film. It will be a task, but it would be a very successful task if they complete it because I think the way that it would look could bring that feel of the original back. I think that's what the crew are going for. It doesn't really matter. I shouldn't be saying this, but it doesn't really matter what the storyline is and it doesn't really matter how old Leatherface is. If they get the look and the feel of this Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that's more than half the battle. They have to get the public on board with the look of this movie. Nothing since the original has caught the eye of the Texas Chainsaw fans since the original. I love the remake and I love the prequel to the remake. And they're, they are their own thing and they feel like their own thing as well. But they don't feel like the 1974 original. So I think if they get the look and the feel of this movie right, it could be a good movie. Uh, I'm not a fan of Old Man Leatherface. Uh, he's different to Old Man Michael Myers because we've established already that Michael Myers is a scary guy, even as an old man. But Leatherface is even older. So how old are they going to make it? What year are they going to set it in? Because he's old man Leatherface, it doesn't mean it's going to be set in 2021. It could still be set in the 90s or the, the noughties because he'd still be an older gentleman at the time. So we still don't know exactly what year the movie's going to be set. But if they do set it in 2021, they are risking the fact that we could be running from an old man who can't even run. So they need to be careful of what year they're going to set it in. So far though, guys, I'm not overly enthusiastic about it. I wasn't overly enthusiastic about it when I heard of the announcement and then they heard of the changes already after the first week of filming. So time will tell, obviously. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I don't have high hopes for it yet. Until I see some proper production stills or a trailer or whatever, then I don't have high hopes for it yet, but time will tell. So far though, what do you guys think? Do you think it looks good or sounds good at least? As always guys, leave your comments down below. And thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.